This is uh, just a quick video to show what's happened to the charcoal that I've added uh, last week. Um, this was mixed in with brewer's waste as well, so you can see it's kind of, sort of moulding over quite fast. But what I've done here, I've just added some um, fresh sort of leaf litter and some kitchen waste and some garden prunings as well. So um, there's a bit mixed of old material, well, old material resin from the previous uh, week, which is the brewer's waste. So you can see this is sort of going quite brown and, and dark and it's mixed in. There's some of the hops there, you can see it's still quite green. And there's some leaves in there, so there's nice mixed materials. There's some shredded cardboard, shredded cardboard paper. You've got the charcoal as well, and then the kind of potato peelings and all the kitchen scraps, so it's mixed in. But um, what I've noticed with um, charcoal is if you're adding lots of sort of fine damp material like the brewer's waste if you add large chunks of charcoal it helps regulate the moisture and because it's got quite a sort of large size it, it, it kind of makes like a little raft inside the material and it stops it all compacting down so it adds a little bit of air space but when this charcoal has just come out of the retort it's quite hard it's it's brittle but it's, it's still quite hard but i've noticed once you um cycle this through and it, it starts absorbing the moisture that bit's still quite quite rigid but this bit here it kind of varies but some of it it really is quite spongy and it breaks up much much finer so this piece here yeah it's almost gone like a foam my theory is if you break that all up into that size in terms of its effectiveness effectiveness long term in the soil um supposedly the, the smaller particles are, are more, more beneficial but i've found that the bigger chunks in the compost actually seem to work really really well and what i kind of think is um, those bits are going to break down over time anyway they're not going to get bigger so they're only going to get smaller so what I kind of think in is tend to leave them as big chunks when the compost when they go into the compost and then as you turn it um, as it gets aerated they'll they'll break up and I think um, if you've got heavy kind of claggy London sort of clays I think you're better off with bigger bits of charcoal because it has much more beneficial effect in terms of drainage and aeration and water retention as well. So this is just a mix of stuff. Um, I've got some more of brewer's waste down here to see what's going on. Compost and cups. Charcoal there. These bits are quite big, starting to break up. But definitely, it's absorbing the moisture and then it becomes much more porous and much easier to break up. So, there's some brewer's waste. Well, I just lay it in brewer's waste, cardboard, leaves, and charcoal. Yes, yeah, so you see that it's really, really fine and crumbly now. But with compost it's always good to have a mix of materials and you can see that it's starting to get the moulds on it. But this is only kind of after a week, so there's still layers of cardboard there, so I just mix this through when I add the new material. Normally I tend to batch compost, but this one I'm just adding a little bit to it. Yeah, so brewer's waste with the charcoal. Yeah. Well, I did notice as well, because it's cold this time of year, um, normally this brewer's waste gets quite hot. But even though it's only weak, there's not sufficient volume of it to generate a lot of heat, but there's already worms moving in. And they're, they're making the sort of best of the little bit of extra, extra warmth. So I'll just put this on, and I'm just going to put some planters on top just to grow in this uh, little greenhouse. 